Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Sunday night stream. Get this off season over with so we can start a new season, hopefully tomorrow. Welcome in, guys. All right. First thing I'm going to do is let's go under transactions. And you can see what we've done. I've done a little bit of work off camera. These guys at the bottom, McGreevy, Scott, Graceffo, and Church, we all, uh, when it says purchase the contract of those guys, that means we put them on the 40-man roster. These other minor leaguers, is it three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Eight minor leaguers, we released all of those guys. They're gone. They're off the roster. Uh, and then I went and kind of set some double-A AA and triple-A guys Um and then I just put three guys that were on the 40-man roster on outright assignment waivers, which means they have to clear waivers. Somebody else can claim them if they want to. Um, but we're, we're taking them off the 40-man roster so we can put new guys on. <clears throat> um, we had, I think, four, four players that were free agents that were eligible for a qualified offer. Lance Lynn, Andrew Kittredge. Um, Middleton, I think, and one other dude, and we let them all go. We're not, they're all free agents now. We're not bringing them back. We're going to replace them. Um, we have nobody that's arbitration eligible because we signed all of our guys that could hit arbitration to long deals for cheap. So, um, we don't have to worry about that. So it's real simple. We're going to tender contracts to all the guys that are in our minor leagues that need a contract. And we're going to go try and sign some free agents to improve our bench and our rotation. And we may or may not make a deal. I'm going to trade Michaelis away for sure. Um, debating on mats, we may just hang on to mats. He's got one more year, and he didn't sim too poorly. Um, but Michaelis is gone. We're going to trade him off. 
And I have a minor league pitcher, uh, Connor Thomas, that I need to trade away, get him off the 40 man roster. Um, he's older. He's not going to, he's not going to work for us. So I need to flip him for a younger prospect. That's not going to be on the 40 man roster. So we're, we're actually going to do that one right now and get that out of the way. <clears throat> this should go through Connor Thomas to the angels for a shortstop. Adrian Palencia. A uh, little bit of contact against lefties. Good defense, good speed. He's 21. He's not on their 40-man roster, so he won't be on ours. So that's the first trade we're going to do. Um, let's make sure he's not on our 40-man roster. Nope. That's good. Good, good, good. So that will give us... Uh, Another decently young shortstop that we can use in the system. So that one's done. Um, now the trade for Michaelis. Um, we could do two different things here. Um, just kind of wait for some other of the boys to get here, but they're not here yet. So we'll just have to re review on those guys, but. I can I can uh, <clears throat> I can do this. We can trade Michaelis in the last year of his contract, and we could include this left fielder that we just got in the draft, who's a 57 overall A potential. Definitely can hit. Not a great fielder. Doesn't have a lot of power. He's already already 21, and he's a 57. So he would be late 20s before. He would even remotely come close to being on the roster. He has an A potential. Um, if we include that trade, we can actually get this 21 A potential 73 stud and Andrew Painter from Philadelphia. And he would be ready to come up in uh, probably one year. Stick him in AAA next year, and he'd be ready to go. So that's a possibility. <clears throat> um, we could take Segura off and go to Washington. And we could trade him for Stone Garrett, who is 29, but he's an 80 overall. He's got good contact against lefties and righties, better power against lefties, good clutch, good defense, good speed. Can play all three outfield plus first base. Last year he hit 23 home runs, hit 266 for Washington. He won't get those men. He will not get that many at bats. And he's up for renewable plus arbitration, so we can keep him for four years if we want. So he's a possibility. Lane Thomas is a possibility. He's a higher overall. He's also 29. Doesn't have as much power. Um, got a great arm, great speed. Um, but he's arbitration, so he's going to cost us more. So I'd be more inclined to do them for Stone Garrett. So sick gamer rage. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. So we can trade Michaelis, who's 36 and 70 overall. For Garrett, who's 29 and 80 overall. Or we can throw in an A potential 21 year old and go get Andrew Painter. So do we want the outfielder or do we want to uh, go after the stud pitcher? Um, so that's what we have to, we'll, we'll think about that in a little bit. Yeah, Painter's the one I really want. And the reason why, besides being a better player, younger player, right? Um, let me go into free agency and show you, I have uh, no interest in signing Soto. We do not need Soto. We need pitching, right? Um. Burns is undervalued right now. Um, I'm not gonna. I would not offer him a six-year deal, but um, I did make this offer to Walker Bueller four years at 28 million. He has no offers. And I told you we were gonna offer Scherzer a one-year deal so he can retire as a Cardinal, use him to replace Michaelis. He's got better ratings, even though he's heavily regressing. He still has better ratings than Michaelis. A lot better ratings across the board. So. 
he should have been signed by the Cardinals. We had two options to get him earlier. Um, so he would basically be signed to be our fifth starter for one year to buy another year. Um, Libertor, I might trade him. His hits per nine and his, his clutch are horrible. We'll see. I just drafted this guy, even though he's a C potential. We drafted this guy, who's a B potential. We have Yerpy. Graceffa's a little older. Roby and Hentz are doing well. They're going to go to AAA this year. Um, so we can go with these three guys. We can sign Scherzer would be four. If we get Bueller, that's five. <clears throat> and then Mats and Scherzer would go bye-bye. And that would let us be able to bring in Hintz or Roby or Yerpy or whoever. One of these, two of these guys come into the rotation the next year. Painter would be on that list as well. Because Sonny Gray only has two years left on his deal. So we would be set up to have Bybee, Bueller, and three young guys in year four. That would also let Hintz and Roby pitch another year in AAA, and Painter could come up and fill that uh, spot in place of uh, Scherzer. So, yeah, we'd be looking at some seriously young pitching, um, and we would we would flip this pitching staff. Um, additionally, what I'm looking at is I wanted Adam Duvall. I know he's regressing. I know he's 36, but he's still very good. A lot of power, good defense, uh, decent clutch. He gives us a backup in all three outfields, plus first and third. Um, he hit 32 bombs for the Braves last year. Um, he would be insurance, because remember we had, we had Walker get hurt and we had Edmund get hurt. They missed a lot of time. And we had to go with guys that were in the 60s, and they were dog shit. So um, I want to get some more veteran players that we're not signing for long term. Uh, Merrifield would just be a bench guy, basically replacing Crawford um, for a year. Um, we offered on Kiermaier as well because he's a stud in center field. So if we lost... Uh, Edmund again, we'd have somebody that could play great defense. Um, but I'm only looking at adding two of these outfielders. Michael A. Taylor is another guy that can play all three outfield, has good power. Um, put Matan and Chris Martin on there too. I, I might I might remove those. I might not go after those guys. Might just go with what we have in the bullpen. And then here's Scherzer, one year, five million dollar. And then these guys down here are all young players, right? 18, 21, 21, 18, 21, 20, right? C's and B's, we have one D, but he has a, I just needed to get rid of an older guy, depth chart catcher wise, but these guys are just to replenish our minors with younger players. They're not necessarily better than what I cut and got rid of, but they're gonna be five, six, seven years younger um, and they'll be on stupid cheap contracts for m multiple years. So it'll just let us fill in the bottom of the, of the minors with some youth. <clears throat> so, but that's what we're looking at. So I've already put some contract offers. I haven't simmed forward today to wait to see what happens. Uh, we have $70 million that we can spend on players. Um, Pending offers at $40 million. Now, what I need to do before we know exactly how much money we have is go under this tender contract and offer contracts to all these guys. And uh, one thing they've done this year is you hit contract renewable, you can just go in here and hit renew. And it automatically renews their contract. Well, some of these cases, let me find him. So some of these cases like, where is he? So Yvonne Herrera. So if I make him an offer and I take him just on his renewable years, I just want it to be green right there. So that's 600K. If I hit renew, it'd be 770. So I'm saving 170,000, right? Not everybody's like that. Sometimes you get somebody like Graceffo and it says 760, but if you 
go left on the salary thing, you can drop this shit all the way down to 60K and his interest is still green. So why would I spend $700,000 extra when I don't have to? <laughs> it's almost like having an extra free player, right? And he will take that. His bar is full, so he will take that. So don't just hit renew, right? Don't just hit re renew contract. Go in there and see if you can nickel and dime these guys down. It gives you just extra money. You don't believe how much, you know, even if it's like two or three million for the entire, you know, list of guys here, it's still two or three million dollars, right? All right. Some of these guys. Yeah, don't go too far back. You'll renew them for 40 million. So these guys just hit 60 and they'll they'll take it eventually. Zach, we've got one year. I'm going to wait and go to arbitration on him. I don't want to pay him right now because I'm not sure how long he's going to stay on the team. So I don't want to overpay. So we'll get him for 600K. So KC is going to be cheap. Victor Scott, we just put on the 40 man. <clears throat> I think he's another guy we can get for 60K. Yep, there we go. So we don't need to pay him. Tink's going to get 70. Roby's going to get 60. So you just, just offer these guys. So... This one, like you said, we'll just drop it down until it hits the first bit of green right there. Go. Persefo, we already offered him. Smith Shelver. We got three years. Yeah, we'll take three years on him. That's 600K. Why's green? Greavy. He's another one we can get for 60K. Depending on what we do in the draft, he's another one that could get traded away later. Valencia. Yeah, this guy's a D potential, so he's he's gonna regress. I'll pay you 800000 I just found out how to say this guy's name. His name is Max Ragic, like magic. It's pronounced like magic. It's Ragic. We're actually going to send uh, Burleson to AAA. We signed somebody. He's not going to be on the MLB roster. He still has all three of his options left, so we can send him down, and it's not a big deal. Baker. He's only used one. We'll just renew him for three, and that'll take care of him the rest of his career. He'll be gone. 600K is fine. He, he uh, did well for us when we needed him in the playoffs and stuff. Plus, when you sign them to these three years, all through their renewable years, then you can trade them off later on, and you don't have to go through this whole exercise of re-signing them every year. Oh, yes, guys on waivers. We got to wait to uh, offer him. Mm -hmm. He has clear waivers, and then we can offer him. The rest of these guys, we still need to look because sometimes it'll, those guys are all on waivers. Sometimes it'll. It won't say one year at 60. It'll say, you know, three years at five point whatever. Like this guy.
Yep, there's another one. I don't really want to pay him, but we can ship him out. You know what? Let's just make it a one-year deal. All right, so now we still have $70 million in our budget. So... All of these guys with the Q, I would be shocked if any of those guys signed when I advanced the day. But all of these guys down here, we should get signed. They should all jump on our roster, which is one reason why I cleared out our roster. Put me up here. And now it says 86 over there in the bottom right-hand corner. It says 86 players. We can go up to 93. So... We can actually go beyond that. We'll just have to cut some guys. So anyway. Also, I fired our manager. Yeah, this guy's more expensive, but I hate Ollie. So. Let me save this right now. We'll do the... Uh, we did the Connor Thomas trade. We'll do the Michaelis trade later. And that would actually open up another spot on the roster. So let's sim through the date and see what happens. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We signed Walker Bueller. We signed seven of those minor leaguers, and we signed Walker Bueller. There we go. Walker Bueller. Seven mil a year for the next four years. That is nothing. <clears throat> so, go under free agency. And now you can see all those offers. I really want Scherzer. I would really like Duvall. It's our roster at 94, so we're going to have to cut one right now. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good there. Got to wait for these guys to clear waivers. He's going through. We signed both of those guys, didn't we? Let's move him to second base. Did we sign that dude? Yeah, no. This guy's getting cut. Actually, we can include him in a trade. So, yeah, let's get that trade out of the way right now. So, we will go Michaelis. And we'll toss in this dude. If they do this trade and don't require that outfielder, that would be ridiculous. Yeah, we don't even have to add the outfielder. Um, I'm going to add the outfielder because they have to get some sort of prospect out of this, right? And I don't need anything back. So we'll give them a older prospect pitcher and a younger a potential outfielder and miles michaelis for andrew painter fuck him there we go so now i really can trade libertor
So there's four right there. Five would be Scherzer. What kind of lefty could I get for Mats and Libertor? George Westberg. Don't need him. We can get Devers. <laughs> He's signed forever. I don't think so. Vlad Jr. Colson Montgomery. Carlos Correa. Yeah, don't need him. Um, <laughs> Shanwell and Herget. Go Hoppy and Moniac. Hey, if you get the uh, left-handed pitcher that the A's just took in the uh, first round of the draft, that's it's really kind of a stupid, a, a stupid trade thing where they just took him fifth overall. He's a 99 potential. 77 overall, 19-year-old pitcher, and they would trade him to us for a 33-year-old and a 25-year-old. Now, of course, those two pitchers we're giving them would be better than anybody they have in their rotation, but that's stupid that they would trade their first-round pick right now. Ooh, Brian Wu. We like Brian Wu, but I need to get a lefty. Adolos Garcia. Trevor Rogers and Luis Arise. Rogers is actually a starting pitcher, not a, a reliever. Edwin Diaz, Jose Buto, Dylan Cruz, and Lane Thomas, guys. CJ Abrams, <laughs> Dansby Swanson, and Ian Happ. Hey. Ellie De La Cruz, we could get De La Cruz and Jabro, Jabo. De La Cruz for Mats and Libertor. Oh my gosh. Stupid, stupid trade finder. Yamamoto. We can get Yamamoto. That's a fair trade. <laughs> Tyra Estrada or Ray Soler. It is. Well, these guys don't have long-term deals. Mass is on a one-year deal, and Libertor is on renewable. Yeah. So what I really want to do is just find a left-handed starting pitcher. Fromber? They'll make it for Fromber. <laughs> Fromber Valdez. That's a fair trade, right? See a lefty or right? He's a righty. Yeah, this is the dude that went fifth overall that um, we wanted in the draft. He's 99 potential. Yeah, I'm not trading Libertor for Kershaw. Um, I need a lefty. I've had Luzardo before, so I don't want to make that deal. Can you get Mackenzie Gore? Bring back Jordan Montgomery. Pardon me. <clears throat> How about Shohei? No. Glass now? No. Yamamoto? Yes. Kershaw? Obviously, yes. Bobby Miller? No. Dustin May? We can get. Blake Snell? No. Kyle Harrison? Almost. There's really no lefties out there. 
All right, so what if we just take Mats off and we trade Libertor? And the reason why I want to get rid of him is he's got 46 hits per nine and 38 pitching clutch. If you guys have watched Mr. Hurricane's Cardinals franchise, he consistently brings this guy out of the bullpen, and when men get on base, he just can't give up, stop giving up hits. So, and he's already 25. So, Libertor gets Mateo and Urias. What's up, Carl? Welcome in. Don't want Giolito's contract. Kelly's a reliever. Romano's a reliever. Don't need the shortstop. Yeah, don't need Salvador Perez. <clears throat> Arkady. Mason Miller. We can get Mason Miller. And Susak. <laughs> it's because Libertor is better than 90% of the guys in their rotation. Get Kumar Rocker. And an A potential left fielder to replace the one we just shipped out. The same age, lower overall. Get Brett Beatty. <laughs> Francisco Lindor, guys. We can get Lindor. I don't know where we would play him. Keep it Ruiz for Libertor? Really? Seriously? That doesn't seem very fair. Henry Davis for Libertor. Same age, same overall. We get a catcher and a right fielder. Really? Don't need Vargas. Wow. Henry Davis for Libertor. Let's look at Davis. I would definitely do that deal, even if it's in the division. They've got Andy Rodriguez. Henry's hit stats aren't quite there yet. Got a cannon for an arm. Can play catcher and right field. Yeah, see, he's not hitting well because his contact isn't high enough. He's got no options used, though. So, I mean, we could shove him down in AAA and let him just mash and try and get, get this stuff built up. We've already replaced Libertor with Painter. Drafted Lindsay, developing these three guys, four guys, five guys, because we traded for Shaver. This was our first round pick. I think we make this deal. It's done. Henry Davis. And seriously, I'll put Davis in the minors so he can he can get pushed up. He can crush down there. Wow, okay. Prospect for prospect, straight trade. I'll take the uh, hitter over the pitcher any day. Yeah, he's on the 40, man. That's okay. We'll just stick him down in AAA, let Herrera back up Contreras. And as Contreras regresses, we'll get rid of him at some point and bring up Davis. We'll just put training on Davis on, uh, on, on contact. We want him to get better contact. And fielding.
Yeah, works for me. All right. So that means we still have mats. So Gray, Bybee, Bueller, mats, and then we're going to put him at AAA. And then uh, we need Scherzer to round out the rotation for this year. The Pirates and the Yankees are going after Soto. <laughs> now the Dodgers come in for Burns. Wow. Nobody's after Goldschmidt because he's regressing. Santander going back to Baltimore. Bieber with the Indians. Teoscar with L.A. Nobody's after Scherzer, so we're good there. Um... Nobody's after any of these guys. Matan. You know what? Let's just withdraw that offer. We have $80 million in our budget. Okay. Let's advance another day. Tigers want to trade us another starting pitcher, Tyler Madison, who's 25 and a 68, and they want us to give up an A potential left fielder that's 24 now. Anybody sign? Tarnock went to the Rockies. We re-signed Henson Burleson. All these guys are re-signed. Okay. Astros, Rafael Montero, 34 years old. No. No. Those guys all went to AAA. Do we need to cut anybody? No. Actually, we will. Drop Chris Martin. What is he? Three million. Make it two point four to cut down his interest. Mad Max. Let's try and get him done. Give him five and a half and see if that'll get him to sign. Not yet. Corbin Burns goes to the Dodgers. Six years, $84 million. Caleb Ferguson to the White Sox. Matan to the Rangers. All right. No other offers. Max is still thinking about it. Astros, no. <laughs> Let me look at my trade block. Yeah, see, I haven't even filled in my trade block. I don't know why they're offering me this trade. Yeah, we got to give these guys an offer. So this is going to be three years at that. I'm just going to offer you a one-year deal. Klopfenstein. One-year deal. All right. Still waiting. Waiting there. I have nobody on arbitration, so we don't have to worry about that. 40-man. Um... Yeah, if we lose Ragic, that's fine. We have 92, so we'll be full up as soon as I sign one, but we can we can dump some other guys.
We got Max. Mad Max with the Cardinals. There we go. Just for one year. Makes me happy. It's already better than Michaelis. <laughs> so, there we go. So that's our rotation. Gray, Bybee, Bueller, Mats, and Scherzer. Got Painter, Hentz, Roby, Graceffo, and Yerpy and AAA. Smith Shaver as well. Now we got a ton of pitchers. So we could always turn around and trade Graceffo and McGreevy next year. Drew Rom. If we draft more guys, we can ship these guys out. Try and get some position players for those pitchers. It's always easier to draft pitchers in this game. Save this. All right, so let's look at my bullpen now. One, two, three, four, five. King would be six. Murphy is seven. That's five. That's twelve. Yeah, I want to. I don't need that many pitchers. So I, I would like to have an extra bench bat that we didn't have last year. We have three spots open on the forty man. Why does it say we have one guy on the 40-man roster at third base? Because he's on the 40-man. Shortstop, we may only have one guy. That's Mason Lynn. But Edmund can play. That's why I want to get another outfield. Look, we have our three starters, but we don't have anything behind them yet. Forty man is set. All right, let's go. A's want to trade us Cooper Bowman. No, for a guy we just drafted. Okay, nothing else there. Jacob Junis to the Twins, John Means to the Cubs, Flaherty to the Rangers. Nobody else has made offers for these guys. So what I want to do is I want to get two outfielders and Merrifield. So we want three of these guys. And if I get Martin, I get Martin, but I don't think I need Martin. So you know what? Let's just remove that. So we need three of these four guys. All on one year deal. And we have no arbitration to worry about. And last day to offer arbitration. We don't need it. So now we can actually look at free agency because some new guys are going to pop in here. They weren't offered arbitration. We can know a Syndergaard is a 60. Nobody's offered Tyler O'Neill. Wow. Okay. Just signed a bunch of minor leaguers. 
Yeah, we're down to five guys. So this should be good. They should all sign. No arbitration. Free agency. Still the only bids on these guys. Astros keep wanting to trade us this Montero. He's 34 years old, making $11 million. No. Fuck off. Leave me alone. <laughs> Two more guys signed. So we only have three guys left, and I have to offer Henry Davis. Let's just give him the lowest we can offer, and we'll deal with him down the road. Who's taking Goldie's spot? We took care of that last year. We traded for Josh Naylor. He's on a four-year, 13 mil per year. Look at his contact versus lefties went up fucking 12. <laughs> his clutch is 99. Yeah, so. We also got in that deal Nick Sandlin with 92 pitching clutch and 99 hits per nine. And Tanner Bybee, who won 17 games with 90 pitch clutch. Guy gave up two hits against the Cubs in the wildcard round and lost 2 nothing. Yeah, we traded him Dylan Carlson and Paul Goldschmidt for those three guys. <clears throat> and then we picked up Joe Barlow, picked up Penn Murphy, um, traded uh, Matt Carpenter for Michael Tolia. We traded a couple of minor league prospects, maybe pitchers. I can't remember. We got this Orelvis Martinez, who's one of the Blue Jays' current better prospects, but he's only 67 at 23. He's probably rated less than what he would be in real life because the guys who do the rosters for the minor league players don't know how to rate players properly. We just picked this guy up from uh, the Angels for a uh, pitcher, Connor Thomas. Picked up Elijah Green from Washington for uh, Kyle Gibson, and then they cut Gibson. Picked up Isaiah Drake in the deal where we got A.J. smith Shaber, Penn Murphy, and Drake for uh, um, Ryan Helsley. Because Helsley had an eight, like an 8 ERA with us. We couldn't. He was simming horribly. So, anyway, we're just trying to replenish our, our minors because we don't have a lot of position players in the minors. Trying to get better younger pitchers. And while I have 68 million, I could go sign Soto if I wanted to. I don't want to play it that way. I've already done Soto last year with our Oakland one. Um, Sonny Gray, we're going to let him pitch his two years and then he's gone. Contreras might get traded after those two years. Um, there's another 8 million for Edmund if we don't bring him back. 5 million for Gallegos, we won't bring back. Another five and a half for Scherzer. We won't bring back. As you can see, this group of guys right here. Newt Barr, 3.3. Sandlin, 3.2. Gorman, 3. Donovan, 3. Walker, 3. Bybee, 2.7. Wynn, 2.6. All of our good young players are tied up for years, making nothing. So, in the next year or two, we'll be able to go after a super big name. I'm not opposed to going after a super big name for starting pitching at the top of the rotation. I'm just not doing it this year. I didn't want Corbin Burns. Not that he's bad. There's nothing wrong with Burns. I want to wait another year or two and let Gray do his thing, and we'll just take his 25 mil and plop it on somebody else. <clears throat> and I didn't like the other hitters. We, we, we are fine on offense. We just need depth. We need bench depth, which is what I'm trying to address with these guys um we were playing a bunch of 60 overalls on our bench and they just weren't doing it when we needed to fill in for injuries so tanner scott goes to the rangers nobody else sign we signed some other guys
Verdugo to the A's. That's good for them. Rangers got Shelby Miller. Diamondbacks got Bobby Dahlback. Lucas Sims to the Rays. Gary Sanchez to the Padres. Edmundo Sosa to the Angels. Danny Jansen to the Dodgers. Wow. All right. Carson Kelly to the White Sox. So we only have two guys left. We've offered both. All right, we're good there. Nobody in arbitration, so it's just free agency. And again, no one's chasing after these guys. So what we can do is throw them in a little, you know, half million more because we have a room. Humor. Seven. Merrifield. Four point five. Taylor will leave you at five. You're the lesser of the three that I'm looking at. And we've reached our max. So somebody signed. We got Whit Merrifield. All right. So now we have two guys in the outfield that we need to clear spot for. Actually, we've got to dump one player to begin with. And to do that, I'm going to get rid of this Noah Mendlinger, who's 24 years old and a D prospect. So now we're at 93. And we still need to sign two players. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We gotta get rid of a catcher. And that's gonna be this guy. And we gotta get rid of one more guy. This guy. All right, let's go back to free agency because our offers are gone. And offer Duval. Six and a half. Offer Kiermeyer. Seven. And we'll leave Taylor out. Tender contracts, yep, we got that. Don't get anybody signed. Those guys are gone. Reva signed. So we're still waiting on these two guys. Clay Holmes goes to the Reds. Jeff Hoffman to the Rangers. Joey Gallo to the Twins. Three years, 20 million. Brian De La Cruz goes to the Rockies. Nick Pavetta to the Guardians. Andrew Heaney to the Tigers. save before I fuck something up and lose all the progress. Still haven't signed those guys. Good Soto, Washington, Pittsburgh, and San Francisco. The Rockies are going hard after Glaber Torres. Washington's going after Alf Alonzo. We could sign Max Freed. What is that? Five years, $62 million. 
I wouldn't sign him to five years, but what is five years? 62 million. So 12.4. Yeah, I don't know. So if we offered him 13 mil, we could get Max Freed. This is our rotation right now. Gray, Bybee, Bueller, Matz, and Scherzer. Painters and the Miners. Kind of feel bad about that trade. They got stiffed. It's their fault. They agreed to it. They brought it up, right? All right. So, Kyle Lewis to the Phillies, Conforto to the Padres, Oliveras to the Giants, Turnbull to the Diamondbacks, Miranda to the A's, Kepler to the Astros, Rooker to the Diamondbacks, Hauser to the Padres, Harold Ramirez to the White Sox, Tyler O'Neill to the White Sox. All right, here's the uh, the draft lottery. All right, so we're picking 24. Last year we picked seven, or this past season we picked seven. <laughs> there were three teams that lost 100 games, and the Rockies lost 99. So picking 24, we're not going to have uh, – a great option. So we're really going to have to go hard to discover uh, pitchers and position players, and hopefully we get one that we can snag later in the first round. So, and here goes the draft lottery. I wish this page would go faster. Takes way too long. All right, the Red Sox jump to one. A's two, Padres three, Nationals four, Rockies five, Pirates six. White Sox and Royals drop. And you see over there, the Orioles beat the Braves in the World Series. All right. Teoscar Hernandez goes to the Angels. He didn't stay with L.A. Dodgers. He went to L.A. Angels. Bader goes to the Angels. Will Smith to the Rangers. Rosario to the Yankees. Wow. Wow. These two guys are just holding out. Still holding out. All right, rule five draft. Let's go. Don't want to trade this guy to you. Fuck off. Go to the draft. And anybody out here worth possibly taking? Now remember, if you take somebody in this draft, you got to keep them in the major league roster for the whole season. And I don't see Sammy Siani's a B. I wouldn't. I don't want to keep him on my roster, though. In real life, they also have a minor league uh, Rule Five draft. Yeah, we don't. We don't need to take anybody. Nothing special in the Rule 5. Loriano to the Marlins. I didn't pick that. Why did the damn thing pick that guy? I didn't pick that guy. I did not pick this guy. You know what? We 
It'll just reload. That's why you save it. <laughs> Alonzo to the pirates. No. All right, we signed Kiermeyer that time. <laughs> so Duvall's the only one left. All he had to do was exit out and reload back in. So, okay. Whatever. All right. So now we have one more spot to go. That lets us leave Victor Scott in AAA for a year. He could come up and start the next year when Edmund's gone as a free agent or we just re-sign him as a backup player. So now we have Walker, Edmund, Kiermaier, Newt Barr, and then hopefully Duvall or Taylor. We got Wynn, his backup is Edmund. We got Arenado, Gorman, Donovan, and Merrifield. Merrifield could play outfield as well. Naylor's at first. Luke and Baker's going back to the minors. We got Contreras and Herrera at the Major League, Henry Davis in the minors. And we have fifty seven million in the budget still. I did not want to take that dude in a rule five draft, so I'm not sure why it it did it. All right, let's do the lottery all over again. Sorry. I'll take a new picture. See if see if the uh, Red Sox move up to one again or not. We'll see if the lottery. Uh, re no, it didn't. The Angels. Wow, the Angels went up eleven spots to number three, and the Giants went up six. Wow. So it's not always locked in. That's good to know. They had a zero point eight chance, and they moved all the way up to three. <laughs> Okay, I see you. Okay. There. Now I don't have a guy on my team I didn't want. Shane Bieber goes to the A's. Wow. Three years, 58 million. Torres to the Rockies. He'll hit 30 bombs there. Gavin Sheets to the Red Sox. Loriano to the Diamondbacks. Lorenzen to the Pirates. Wow. Still waiting on Duvall. No. One not signed. No one else is offering. Max Freed is still not being offered a ton. Am I stupid by not offering him and then trading Mats? See, the whole point is two years there. He goes next year. He goes next year. That leaves us two spots. If I signed Freed, we'd have four spots. Then only one person painter would come in at five. We'd have to wait another year for these guys. Not that that's the worst thing in the world.
His hits per nine were not good. His home runs were not good. But his home runs per nine went up. So the only really, I mean, his pitching clutch is really good. So his hits per nine is 68. But his mats. Oh my gosh. Should I do it? Should I jump in there? I mean, it's not even $15 million. I don't have to go crazy with him either. Oh, he signed Duvall. So there. There's that. One year, six and a half mil. We still have 50 million in budget space. All right. So if I want to go after Max. We have to trade Mats and one more player. Like Graceffo. For one prospect. Not three. One. Walter Jenkins. Lee Boyle. They're still offering up that dude. I can't believe you can get him. Noble Meyer. <clears throat> Drew Jones. Chase Dolander. Dylan Lasco. Robbie Snelling. He's on the 40-man, too, isn't he? How about MLB ready? Colton Kowser and Salazar? Westberg? Dominguez and Peraza? Get two 21-year-old A prospects in Xavier Isaac and Carson Williams, two of their top best players. That's not a fair trade. Barrios and Varsho and Cabrera. Byron Buxton, Brooks Lee. Zach Geloff, I don't need him. Brian Wu. I'd do it straight up for Brian Wu, but that defeats the purpose because then we we're bringing in a lefty. So he needs to be enough. We could get a Dolus Garcia. <laughs> uh, bring him back. James Wood. They wouldn't trade it for that uh, package. Ellie De La Cruz. Sal Freilich. Colton Kowser. Could do it, Jason Adam. Be our new closer. Who do the White Sox need? They need pitching. Mm 
Fucking Shane Bieber. My goodness. Nationals. I don't have enough. Nope. We'll just stay with what we got. We'll just stay with what we got. So. Gray, Bybee, Bueller, Mats, and Scherzer. Romero and Sandlin are splitting the job as closer. Contreras and Herrera, Naylor, Gorman, Donovan, Whitfield, Arnado, Wynn, Walker, Edmund, Duvall, Kiermaier, and Newt Barr. Our bench is way better than it was last year. Way better. So, and we haven't overspent. We have 50 million left in our budget. And we've got 18. Twenty five, thirty, thirty six, forty. We have forty million dollars coming off the after this year. Forty million coming off, so we'd have ninety million to go into next year. So we could see what our team looked like if we needed to just straight up go get a real center fielder, get some more guys, backup outfielders, make it freaking blockbuster if we wanted to look at this let me see if this trade will still go through mats hence roby no i think it was edmund Michaelis and Matt's would have got me Tatis. <laughs> Soto is still out there as a free agent. Max Freed, man. I'll just let him go. Somebody else can sign him. We'll be fine. We got some young guys. I don't need to uh, overload and try to go for the World Series right this moment. Cardinals, Lord knows they wouldn't do that in real life. Fucking horrible front office. Yankees, Carlos Rodon, no. Not even for those two guys. There's a salary dumping on us. Juan Soto to the Pirates. Wow. <laughs> okay. Kittreds to the Giants. So we get to face Soto now in division. Now the A's are jumping on Max Freed. Oakland's going for it, man. They got money to spend. That's fine. Get him out of the fucking league altogether. Goldschmidt to the Rangers on a one-year deal. It's only twelve million for Freed.
God, I'm so tempted. But we're good. We're good. We're good. Stop looking at it. Let him go somewhere else. Seth Brown to the Royals. Acevedo to the Marlins. signed yet. Now the Angels upped it to 61. The Yankees 63. So now the bigger, bigger teams are jumping in on these guys. I rolled as Chapman. Wow. We can throw Chapman in our bullpen. How fun would that be? It's his walks per nine and home runs per nine that are the worst. He's terrible in the sim, though. At least he was last year. Hmm. $2 million for Aroldis? Should we? Should we, should we bring him in to replace John King? So he doesn't go to the Brewers? Let's offer him. Oh. We have to cut somebody. Oh, we can cut Grant Black. Next, free to the Yankees. There we go. Out of the league altogether. Syndergaard to the Twins. Tommy Pham to the Rockies. Archie Bradley to the Blue Jays. Velasquez and Boyd to the Twins. They're filling all their minor leagues out now. Um, let's see. And we did get Chapman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. Yeah. So John King will go to the minors and pitch down there. All right. Let's move him right now. We have one too many guys in the 40, man. And we'll take Palante off. He's a 62. Somebody wants him, they can have him.
These are all the arbitration cases that we didn't have to worry about. Vlad Guerrero lost his arbitration case. Wow. Adley Rutschman is only going to make two and a half million. Wow. All right, he's taken care of. So Henry Davis is renewed. Nothing out there in free agency. Is anybody on a trade block? Nemo, Springs, Hicks. Nope, nobody we want. All right, our budget. We have $48 million to spend. So we can add somebody during the year if we need to. And we'll renew. And we are done with the offseason. is all for a thumbnail all right well there we go all right upcoming contract extensions tommy edmund looking at 16 mil for a one-year deal these guys are all signed on one-year deals we're going to let them go so we're going to drop from Tommy Edmond all the way down to Henry Davis, down to Zach Thompson. King's going to go away. Yeah, we're going to have very few guys to extend in the offseason. So good, good clean out. We'll just rebuild the uh, bench again next year. And next year's free agents are Zach Gallen, Kyle Tucker, Vlad Guerrero, Bo Bichette, and Blake Snell. Let's take a picture of that. So we could bring Gallon back after we traded him off in the uh, Ozuna trade. Don't need Kyle Tucker. Don't need Vlad Guerrero. Gallon and Snell. All right, I think that's it, guys. I think we're done. Quick and easy, hour and a half, not even. So, uh, yeah, thanks for hopping in, short and sweet. We're going to send you over to Parham Crow for some NCAA football. My buddy from uh, Australia, New Zealand, wherever he's from down south down there. So he's doing some uh, really fun challenges. He's trying to beat um, 99 overall Alabama with a uh, – an FCS, um, FBS team, sorry. So let's get that raid ready to go. You can go say hi to Param Crow. Good dude. And I will see you guys tomorrow. We will sim spring training, get ready, and then start the, uh, the regular season. I don't mess around with spring training too much. So anyway. You guys have fun, and I will catch you down the road, man. Take care. Mm -hmm.